The people of Artsakh, or Nagorno-Karabakh, are under attack. Situated between the Republic of Armenia and Azerbaijan, these lands are indigenous to ethnic Armenians who have historically always made up the majority of the population. Despite this, in 1921, Stalin illegally transferred the territory to Azerbaijan SSR to placate Turkey and to have access to Azerbaijani oil reserves. Due to years of ethnic oppression, the people of Artsakh continuously appealed to Stalin to withdraw from the Azerbaijan SSR as an autonomous, free state. Artsakh's peaceful calls for self-determination in 1988 were rejected by Azerbaijan and the USSR. Violent pogroms and ethnic cleansing by Azerbaijani and USSR forces followed in Sungait and Baku. In response, Artsakh legally declared its independence from the USSR and the Azerbaijan SSR in 1991, exercising their right to self-determination under the Soviet constitution and laws. Self-determination is a core principle of international law, allowing people the freedom to form their own government. Artsakh became independent from the USSR and the Azerbaijan SSR before Azerbaijan gained its own independence, on the same legal basis on which Armenia, Azerbaijan, and other countries gained independence from the Soviet Union. After many years of being subject to ethnic violence and massacres in both Azerbaijan and Artsakh, Artsakh Armenians had no other choice but to declare independence. In response, Azerbaijani military forces seized and occupied approximately half of Artsakh, forcibly displacing the majority Armenian population from the region. Violent clashes between the two sides followed. As a result, the UN Security Council intervened. The UN Security Council addressed four resolutions to Azerbaijan and local Armenian forces in Artsakh in 1993. Until today, these are mistakenly used as leverage by those arguing that Artsakh belongs to Azerbaijan. These resolutions call for a ceasefire, repeatedly violated by Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan regards these resolutions as a deed to the territory. However, the UN Security Council has no power to determine title over land. International law allows for people to exercise their right to secede from a state when the state oppresses them and denies their right to self-determination, especially when remaining under the rule of that state creates an immediate threat to their existence and security. Azerbaijan's extreme Armeniophobic policy, recognized by the European Court of Human Rights, along with repeated attacks on Armenians, war crimes against civilians, and destruction of cultural and historic sites have placed Armenians in Artsakh under an existential threat. Independence has always been the only option for peaceful existence and survival of the people of Artsakh. Integrating Artsakh into Azerbaijan would violate fundamental human rights since it would result in extreme ethnic cleansing, oppression, and extermination of the people of Artsakh. Artsakh exercised its right to self-determination three decades ago. It is now time for the world to recognize that right by recognizing the independence of Artsakh.